All right, the point behind this chapter was to learn how to analyze solutions to absolute value equations. And we had a great question sent in by Chessy, who uh, had some questions about something similar to what we're working on. So let's use her information as sort of background for what we're discussing here. Her question says that she has the problem absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 5 plus 3, and she's supposed to interpret the answer. She thinks that maybe she can solve it, but she doesn't have any idea what she's supposed to do to interpret it. So first of all, let's take the information and let's solve it for ourselves and see what we come up with and then see what we think we have for interpretation of the answer. So we have 3x minus 4 equals 5 plus 3. So first thing I'm going to do right away is just go ahead and combine those two numbers on the right because that's a pretty simple simplification there and it'll make things just a little easier to write down. So we have 3x minus 4, the absolute value of 3x minus 4 equals 8. Now the trick to absolute values is that anything inside the absolute value symbols could be positive or negative and they'd end up coming out the same way. So what that says is what's in here is going to have to be equal to 8. But if it's going to be made positive no matter what it is, then what was in here could actually be equal to negative 8 as well because then when I took the absolute value of it, it would equal 8 then. So we can write the same statement here as two separate statements. We could say that 3x minus 4 is equal to 8, because then this 8 would be inside the absolute value symbols, and it would be equal to 8. Or 3x minus 4 is equal to negative 8, because if this was equal to negive 8, and we put it inside the absolute value symbols, it'd still come out to be positive 8. So let's solve both of these possibilities and see what we come up with. First we'll add, 12, add 4 to both sides, and we'll get 3x equals 12. And then we'll divide both sides by 3 and we get x equals 4. So one possible answer is that x equals 4. So on the number line that would look like a spot or a dot right here, right? Yeah. So then the other possibility is that it equals negative 8. So we'll add 4 to both sides here and we'll get 3x equals negative 4. Divide both sides by 3 and we get x equals negative 4 thirds. So now we're back. We had 0 and negative 1 and negative 2. So this is negative 1 and a third. So there's a point right about there. So to interpret the answer then, we have two possibilities. x could either be 4, in which case we'd have, if we were to sort of insert that back in up here, we'd have 3 times 4, that's 12, minus 4, that's 8. Absolute value of 8 is 8. And the absolute value, or then 8 is equal to 5 plus 3. So that works. Or x could be negative 4 thirds. If we put negative 4 thirds in up here, 3 times negative 4 thirds is negative 4. Negative 4 minus 4 is negative 8. And the absolute value of negative 8 is 8, which is equal to 5 plus 3. So to interpret our answer, these two possibilities would both work. Either of these values are accurate for the answer for what x could be.